My name is Stephanie Carter and I'm a Sustainable Building Materials Specialist and I work for Green Alberta and EcoAmmo. There is no perfect product out there, not at all. Is, you can't be a perfect green person out there. You have to make choices. There's no organic door to an organic world where everything is hunky-dory and everything's green. You actually have to go through and, and weigh your personal situation. So um, your mom had cancer. That's really important to you. Choose products from materials with no carcinogens in them. But you um, are not making a whole lot of money, so you still have to choose things that are in your budget. That's okay. As long as we all choose something, we can all make a difference together. And um, I know it's cliche, but, but um, just start now. Don't get paralyzed with all of the issues. Just pick one small thing and make a difference. There's um, third-party symbols to um, show you that a product has been sustainably harvested, that a product has been tested for um, toxins and, and known carcinogens, um, that a product has been um, certified to be closed-loop recycled. Carpets had a bad rap for many years, and um, the new age of carpet is actually carpet tiles, like this in this little 24 by 24 size. And what you do is actually, um, this is a commercial sample, but there is residential samples out there. What you do is, um, you don't have to have this 12 foot long roll that you have to lug into your house and get an actual installer to install. They're in little um, 24 sizes, so they go through doorways. Saves you on a lot of um, labor time. And the most exciting part is that at the end of its life, you pick it up, turn it over. There's a 1-800 number on the back, and the manufacturer wants the carpet back. They make it back into carpet, 100%. So all of this gets chopped up, gets melted down, extruded, and made back into carpet so that the carpet never goes to the landfill anymore. This is a big issue because 4.5 billion pounds of carpet go to the landfill every year. Another thing with um, carpet is they've included some um, backing materials that are, like for this one example, is 100%, um, well, it's mostly pop bottles. It's like the green um, pop bottles, so 7-Up uh, or, or whatever. It's for the backing on a, on a carpet. So they're looking at a whole bunch of different ways to use post-consumer recycled content. And the linoleum is interesting because it's like the very, one of the very first sheet goods ever manufactured. Our grandparents remember this product, and my parents remember it if you smell it. It smells like school. It's um, flax, linseed oil, and some other um, tree resins, and some other binders. But um, mainly, what's exciting about it is that the flax is harvested from around our area here in Alberta, and um, it's also there's also um, Manitoba and Saskatchewan also have flax. It's currently shipped to um, Holland, made into this product, and then shipped back. But at least you know part of it came from around here. Both of these products are not grown here. They have to be shipped here. So you may weigh that against, let's say, getting a, a maple flooring, but the maple flooring might not be harvested sustainably. And uh, so kind of just weigh in your mind what are things that are more important to you. You also have to know where you're getting your materials from. It's another issue of knowing the manufacturer and how long they've been in production and is it sustainable practice, that kind of thing. And same with granite too. Um, it is totally a natural product. Uh, at the end of its life, it's not really going to affect that much if you um, get rid of it and it goes um, in, if it has to go into the landfill. But at the beginning of its life is where you want to be most concerned with granite and um, to know again your manufacturer. How are, they, how are they manufacturing this? How are they harvesting it? Uh, this paint has been third-party certified by Green Seal to say that it has low toxicity. The word they use is low VOC, volatile organic compounds. Look for this symbol and other ones that, that show that paint has been tested for their toxins. Um, it still comes in a myriad of paint colors, um, but uh, look for the third-party certification. EcoCoat is a local company in Calgary that actually takes all of that leftover paint that we all have in our garages or at the eco station that 
it just sits there, and they make it into new paint. So it's 100% post-consumer recycled paint. So what they're addressing is actually an issue with waste and toxins that just sit in our garages and sit in the, in the world um, that are made back into paint. But uh, they can't guarantee the VOC level. They do offer testing for that so you know what it is. But their main concern, and I think it's very commendable, is that it's 100% post-consumer recycled paint.